Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday and happy Easter. It is a huge day inside of FIBA 22 because today begins the first of the many days of Team of the Season buildup. And basically, it's the first day of Team of the Season hype because we have official voting today for the community team of the season the first tots cards that we will see on this game in a couple weeks from now about a week and a half we will see these cards on this game but today is huge because it really begins that team of the season hype with the voting starting today and we have leaks about some of the players that are going to be included in the voting so i want to take a look at that today and it's also a pretty big day of content regarding foot captains with the mini release coming out today of course a guy like busquets and payette some of those items we're looking forward to seeing today on this game and of course with the news of team of the season coming prices on the market are crashing once again more panic selling more price drops across the board we have to take a look at that in today's video but it is a very exciting time on this game because again team of the season it's just around the corner and today really starts the beginning of that hype and the beginning of that push towards this next promo that will come after the foot captain's promo in team of the season so if you're excited for team of the season hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new let's dive right into it right what is actually coming today related to team of the season now we talked about this in yesterday's video and we did start to see the market drop off because of that initial hype but this was the official tweet from ea sports yesterday saying tomorrow aka today team of the season begins community tots kicks us off and your vote decides the team so this is once again the official card design tweeted out by ea sports i mean yes it does look similar to team of the seasons of years past that's no surprise right we know that these team of the season cards look pretty similar year in and year out i like that design though i think it's sick big w in my opinion but what goes on with voting today like what does this mean basically what they're going to be giving to us it's just like team of the year the voting is very similar to team of the year where they're going to give us a bunch of players and we have to pick a squad that is voted in as our community team of the season squad and basically what community toss is if we take a look back at last year's uh community team of the season it's a lot of players in the voting that haven't had that many special cards this year but have played somewhat well for their clubs and pretty consistently right it's usually called team of the season community or team of the season most consistent so some of these cards that we're going to look at in a second here that have been leaked don't have a lot of special cards for performance-based upgrades for informs or whatever uh, but they've played a lot for their teams and they're maybe worthy of some recognition for that consistent and solid performance throughout this season uh, for their club. So that's what team of the season community is all about. And of course it is 100% community voted. That's where the hype is with these cards as well. So this all starts today. I'm going to drop the link to this uh, web page down below in the description. If you want to take a look at that, you'll be able to vote. I'm assuming it's like team of the year where you just kind of drag the cards in on the web page, do that sort of thing. You'll vote for your community team of the season here on this website on the ea website now these are the leaked cards that we actually have these are these are nominees these are not players that will like are guaranteed to get a community tots card in the next couple of weeks but these are some of the names that are going to be in the voting with their potential team of the season card boosts in this graphic right here serge nabry adeyemi lacazette yoris who both have had uh, promo cards recently inside of the foot captain's promo which is interesting to see suarez carrasco parejo zaha and fred a lot of people are, are making some sick concept cards this one included for a team of the season fred i would be very surprised if he did not get into community team of the season because again just like it is with a lot of other voting based stuff on FIFA 22 the community ends up picking a lot of those cards where it's it's, it's a popularity contest is really what it is right people are going to pick fred they're going to pick lacazette they're going to pick nabry because they're bigger name players and you know not all those guys have had that insane special cards released yet on this game this year so you know a lot of people will say hey you should vote for the performances or hey you should just vote for the fifa meta whatever it comes down to vote for who you want to uh but it usually does end up being the end, the end squad does end up being a little bit more of a popularity contest because that no, that is what EA knows will sell as packs and that's why they do voting and that's why people vote for some of these cards they do on this game. So these are the actual 
some of the cards that we'll see in voting today, we'll probably see a lot. Again, with Community Tots last year, they released a full side of 11 plus four on the bench. I would imagine this year they would do the exact same thing. So expect a lot more cards as a part of the voting today. And then we also have, this is kind of looking down the road a couple weeks, but we have leaked confirmed dates for a team of the season. This is kind of what we were expecting. And usually this is pretty rock solid. Like this does not vary that much. You know, community is going to start on the 29th of April. So we're still, it's not this next Friday. It's going to be the Friday after. So we still have a little bit of time between then. Uh, but then we have Premier League, Bundesliga, La Liga, League One, and Serie A, which is a bit of an interesting switch up here because usually League One is last. I believe it was last last year, um, but they're running League One before Serie A and then ultimate team of the season at the very end, kind of in that second week of June. So team of the season is a long time, but there's so much great content that's going to come out during, and it all starts today with the team of the season vote. So that's a lot of talking about that, but that's kind of the whole situation. All that we know right now about about that team of the season stuff. Now, like we mentioned, with that web page and with the EA tweet dropping, a lot of people saw for the first time confirmed team of the season information, and that has the market dropping. And this is where I want to start talking. It's going to continue today, boys. It really is. And I even mentioned it in yesterday's video. Just a tweet like that is has started people selling some cards off, and you've started to see prices drop once again, right? Prices kind of bounced back up from, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday last week. It was just drop, drop, drop every single day. Some cards bounced up a little bit on the weekend, and now cards are coming back down again, and some of them are down a lot. Uh, I was taking a look at Lucas Paqueta. He is like 480,000 coins at the moment, um, and so I think he's down like, you know, 40 or 50K just in a day. Firmino's foot birthday card was like 780. He's down under 700,000 coins. It's not just foot birthdays. These are just two examples that I'm giving you right here. But the whole entire market is really dropping as people are seeing this no this uh, this news and the notifications that team this season is right around the corner. So more and more people are going out and selling their teams. And, and that's also causing people to, to not want to buy cards and that just causes the prices to drop lower and lower because there's not much demand. And also people are scared again about the promo that's going to be coming. So they just keep selling their cards. I think you're going to see more price drops today on this game. I know I was just looking at Golden Bappe. He's only down like, I think, 20K. He was like 330 highs to 340 uh, yesterday before the stuff was shown by EA. Now he's down uh, to like 320. I think this Mbappe card before we get to team of the season is going to be 300k flat or below. That's just my opinion on a leak. We still have a lot of time before the actual team of the season is released. Uh, and there's still some more panic to come. But what I think you're going to see today on Sunday is more panic selling just based off of the fear the based off of that, again, panic that team of the season is coming. I mean, look at this Jude Bellingham. I'm losing some coins on this card right now because I was trading with him over the weekend. I sold one yesterday for 1.39 million coins. He went down to 1.1, bounced really quick, and has just been continually dropping even more. He's down like 300,000 coins in one day, and I think he's going to go down even more today on Sunday for a card like this. Also for some of your really high tier meta cards like this Jude Bellingham, a lot of pros are playing qualifiers this weekend. So a lot of pros are finishing all these games for qualifiers if they're losing and not competing anymore. And it's driving the prices a little bit lower as well on these high tier, very pricey meta cards that people are using in those pro teams. But again, if you just take a look at, a, not, not all the market is down a ton, but look at Sancho, right? Sancho is down a hundred thousand coins he was 680 yesterday and now he is down to 564,000 coins if we take a look at foot captains from team one who are out of packs by the way look at this ben yetter card ben yetter was 1.1 mil i believe yesterday 1.05 went all the way down to 879 and that's currently where he is now like 870 to 880 a lot of people are just selling cards royce i sold yesterday over 400k um, let's see, Milito's 533, Di Natale is down 300,000 coins. Everywhere you look on the market right now, this panic selling is kind of starting and it's continuing. Honestly, it's, it's going to continue even more into today though, right? If there are cards that have not dropped that much yet, like this Coutinho, this Dembele, I think there's more drop coming today for a lot of those cards and cards that have dropped a lot. Again, you just have to kind of think about, okay, these cards still are going to have another about week and a half time period before 
uh, team of the season is actually here. They're going to hit their lowest point before then. But what right now and what this weekend is, again, the start of is the low period. And we were talking about this a little bit last week, and we're going to talk about it a lot in this next upcoming week. Right now, what we are entering into is what I would call the low period. This is the low period, kind of like the the panic selling is reaching its peak. Prices have been dropping for like the whole last three weeks now at this point. Um, and now you've got cards that are being panic sold so much, so much. Their prices have dropped so much over the past couple of weeks. And, and we're just getting into that. We're getting into the valley right before team of the season starts. The absolute lowest point is so hard to time with all of these cards. So if you're looking to buy cards for your team, if you're looking to buy items uh, for you know your team of the season squad or stuff like that, I mean, just what I would do right now is just start to plan. And what we're gonna do a lot of this week is watch prices because EA is con gonna continue to drop good content in my opinion throughout this upcoming week. And that's gonna drive prices a little bit lower as good as that content could potentially be with upgrade packs, gamble packs. They did it last week during week one of foot captains. I would imagine they're gonna do it again this week inside of week two. So, um, you know, if you have cards still in your club right now that are not down that much, I would say, you know, maybe go ahead and take, take the coins. Like I think of a card right now who is up in price a lot still, and that is a Sadio Mane road to the final version. I know that he just got upgraded and there's a lot of hype with this card. And you know, the reason why he's up in price so much is because he got this plus two, but I'd be taking the money on this. I, I really would because the whole rest of the market is dropping and this card should be dropping as well. Because again, team of the season just brings out some of the best cards on the game. That's why people are selling. That's the bottom line, right? People are selling this stuff because the cards that are coming out, people are worried about how cheap they're gonna be, how awesome they're gonna be statistically. And that's just that's just what team of the season does to the market. So it's that fear and that panic that is driving prices down. And I think it is going to continue today. Watch for big time fluctuations because like I showed you with that Bellingham, he was one three, one four, went all the way down to one point one, and then went back to one two five. You're gonna see fluctuations today, tomorrow, into this week, some more, where you see a lot of cards that drop down really low and they drop down like twenty or thirty percent. Then they have a little bit of a bounce back just because the panic selling was too drastic and too much in a short amount of time, especially if a card is really, really rare. Um, even here's a good example. Another Future Stars item. Uh, where's Pedri? Future Stars Pedri was 1.1, like almost 1.1 flat. I think he's rebounding back up now into the high 1.1s. Yeah, 1.17, 1169. You know, if you see a card like this today, it's like one mil flat you know, that would be down like almost 20% in price, then not quite 20%, you'd have to be under a mil for that. But, you know, that might be something where it's like, okay, this Pedri card, if he's 950, he might bounce back up to 1.05 after just how rare this card is, how meta this card is. You know, there's still that are there's still gonna be people on this market today that are in this weekend that are buying cards, but that buying power is gonna slow down a lot. And that's just what you have to be careful with because there's so much selling and not as much buying, that's what makes the prices go lower, right? That's just the simple supply and demand of the situation. But again, it's all triggered by that fear of team of the season actually coming out. And today with the voting, I think that's gonna trigger some more fear with prices on the market as well. Now, speaking just besides the team of the season item and stuff and content that's coming out today with the voting, there's a lot going on with foot captains today on this game as well. Uh, we have the mini release that is going to be dropping today on this game. Now, again, a lot of the leaks have shown in the past couple days that we have been waiting for a Busquets uh, foot captain's card. Now, I don't know exactly uh, what this card is going to look like statistically. I'm going to try to find the card really quick right here for you guys and show it. Um, if I can find the Busquets item really fast. I know that he was leaked a long time ago, so I might have to scroll back into the archives. Oh, this is one of the cards we're getting today. Payette, Busquets, Payette, and Seamus Coleman. Uh, so this is going to be the Payette card that we will see as a part of the mini release today on Sunday. So another French center attacking mid. He's probably going to end up being pretty cheap. Uh, again, you think about a comparison card for him would be Foot Birthday Fakir. You might see a card like Fakir drop down a little bit extra um, if that Payette is really cheap. I think these are confirmed stats for Busquets. Is that what he said? Stats official for the Busquets. This is the most popular card coming today in the Sunday mini release, little Easter egg mini release from EA. 
86 pace, 93 defense, 88 physical, 95 passing, 92 dribble. Now, with how cheap these captain's cards are already as a part of Team 2, because and with prices dropping uh, on these cards as well, Henderson's 390,000 coins. And I would kind of compare Henderson and Busquets as pretty similar cards uh, out of this promo. Busquets is going to be higher rated. Uh, or sorry, he's 92. Henderson's 93. I feel like Busquets might be a little bit harder to pack since his base gold version is higher rated than Henderson's still. Um, and, you know, it's a mini release, so he's going to have a little bit less hype. But I would say that this Busquets probably around, you know, maybe like five, four to five hundred K as he drops down in price later on this week should be maybe his his central point but that's going to be a card that a lot of people are excited to use again we talked about the payette he'll be a popular one that should be today right sunday mini release days that's the most popular day for them to release something along those lines and also sunday content today we would expect another icon moments sbc right yesterday we had emmanuel petit which was again EA is just dropping incredible value icon SBCs. I'm pretty sure this Petit's value is like 450,000 coins on an SBC craft. His card on the market, I literally sold him for 700,000 coins yesterday. Um, actually, it was a Friday night. I sold him for 700K. So this guy's price on the market is down because this SBC is so good um, and, and such great value. So GG's EA. Now again, the other moments icons that we have leaked right now are huge huge names and we don't have a leak at, at the moment from what i've seen on who is coming today as our um icon moments player sbc but some other names that have been leaked are zidane and the center back maldini so i don't exactly know which one is going to be dropping today but zidane or maldini i would expect to be pretty soon and that would be a huge SBC that could facilitate some more market panic as well if EA were to drop one of those two um, big players and again we didn't see Pepe yesterday as well um, I, I was a little bit surprised actually I felt if I'm honest I was a little surprised that we didn't see the Pepe center back SBC just again if you guys aren't aware this was a leak that we saw uh, earlier on these are predicted stats these are not official but I believe that if um, you know we had that on their Herrera SBC yesterday Instead of, you know, um, I, I think instead of another flashback today, I wouldn't expect another one of those. Uh, I, I think this Pepe could be an SBC card that we see today on Sunday, uh, just kind of showing that card again. So that might be our Sunday content, right? I don't think we're getting another icon pack. I'd be surprised if we are. I'm three out of four on this icon moments upgrade at the moment. Uh, I am going to buy the fodder because this does not expire today. It expires um, tomorrow on Monday. So I'm going to get that done and then rip it on stream on Monday, most likely. But uh, yeah, watch out for an Icon Moments SBC today, maybe Pepe and the mini release. And then, of course, the team of the season voting. That's, you know, plenty of content for a Sunday on this game. Now, talking about, once again, SBCs, let's take a look at Fodder for a second. And we'll we'll talk about um, the Ander Herrera SBC as well. Uh, fodder is low again. It's not tremendously low. And depending on how good the content is today, that could affect that. I'm just checking Cavani as an 85 rated card. Um, 85s on the market currently are about seven and a half to almost 8,000 coins, but not quite there. So, you know, these guys were 10K. You guys remember this, right? Thursday, they were 10,000 coins. 86s were like 17K. They're now down to 14. 88s were over 30. They're now back in the in the high 20s. So I do think that fodder, especially if you think about what is upcoming in this next week, we're having the second week of the foot captains promo. A lot of people have sold cards and they have coins, right? A lot of people have coins liquid in the top left as they're running untradeable teams. Maybe they've already been running untradeable teams. EA is going to take great advantage of this opportunity in the next week and a half before we get the start date of team of the season community on the 29th. They're going to take advantage by running a lot of SBCs. That's something I think they're going to do. Watch out for fodder this weekend. If prices go even a little bit lower, because we should still have lightning rounds today, um, if they drop another pack supply SBC like they did yesterday, I know it was, I think it was an untradeable rare mega pack from yesterday, but if they drop another pack like this that's tradable, that's going to bring more supply on the market. Um, and if there's not any insane SBC content, I would do a club stock on fodder. I really would because what it would seem is that they're not going to do any promo cards in packs the next week. So like the 22nd of April, this next coming Friday, 
Probably not going to have any cards in packs. That means not as much supply. Fodder is a good look. Always the week before a big promo because EA are dropping SBCs. Imagine a Zidane. Imagine the Maldini. Imagine more of those, you know, party bag type SBCs, the campaign bag player pick that goes away today. Could we see a, a, a campaign bag or some sort of upgrade pack even today on Sunday? Potentially. Who knows? Maybe they'll drop something like Easter related. I don't know. Um... Again, player picks don't have to be added to the code. It packs do, player picks don't. So they could kind of drop anything. We'll see if they do anything along those lines. But I think fodder is a good look this weekend. Um, you know, in the mid to high tier range, you know, even you think about some of the higher tier cards, like some of our brand new foot captains items are literally like the cheapest 89 rated card on the market is Captain's Tadic right now at like 33,000 coins. If they're dropping big icon moments cards like Zidane and Maldini, as I keep mentioning, and these other icons that require some of the higher rated squads, you know, that's got potential. And that provides potential for some of these higher rated fodder cards to go up a little bit extra on the market this week because they'll be supplied, of course, less since their pack weight is lower, but their demand might be up a little bit as people are doing those SBCs. So, that's one place that I would watch this weekend. If you're trying to make some last minute coins before team of the season, fodder is probably going to be the place to do that um, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and of course, again, as I mentioned, even the foot captains that are in packs for team two at the moment, these guys just keep dying, man. I mean, I literally sold Robbie Keane at 900,000 coins and I even sold him for a little bit of a loss um, just, just Friday night. And now Robbie Keane is 745,000 coins. Like these guys are so rare, but they're also so down in price because again, nobody wants to buy cards right now at the moment. So you might be able to trade with a few of these guys as well. Just be careful if you're trying anything out in this game right now. Uh, I sniped in a Betty yesterday at 1.19, sold him at 1.3 something. And now this Abedi is, all, oh my gosh, he's down to 1.23. Like, look at all this, man. No, Nobody wants to hold, hold cards right now on this game. It's crazy. So more prices dropping today, though. I really think you're going to see more prices dropping today. I'm semi-liquid, still have a few cards in the transfer list, have some fodder. Um, again, I didn't really trade too much this weekend after we made a bunch of profit on Friday, kind of keeping it chill with the holiday weekend and everything going on. But that's kind of the rundown of what is happening on FIBA 22 right now. So we're going to cover the market step by step as we head into this week. So one thing to really look out for this next week, since we're in this low period, is I'm going to start talking about some of the best team of the season preparation things that you can do for your club, for your ultimate team, depending on what your goals are and what your perspective is with team of the season, whether it's to open packs um, and or buy a team or do upgrade packs and SBCs, whatever it may be, we're going to talk through a lot of that stuff in the coming days as we get closer to team of the season, and especially some of the best investments for out-of-packs cards. That's specifically if you're trying to build a team. The timing on that is going to be pretty key. So I want to talk about a lot of that stuff throughout this week. This is just the beginning of that low bottom period of the market we have we have almost arrived i think you're going to see more prices drop in across the rest of the game today and maybe into this week as well and and then we're going to be deciding on hey what cards could be some of the best to go up as we get towards team of the season so that's enough for me on the video today have a good easter sunday for all you guys that are out there celebrating and again if you're excited for team of the season voting which i am team of the season voting is a lot of fun we'll be talking about it of course later on this week i'll probably post my vote on twitter maybe look at it in in tomorrow's video um, as well make sure you tweet me those votings by way by the way either put them in the discord tweet them to me i want to see who guys are voting for after we see what all nominees are released but if you're excited for team of the season hit a thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any question of course and subscribe if you are new it has been nate the foot account and i will catch you guys later peace out